Are you ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here for another weekend of greatness. Lost season one. Yes, sir. I'm enjoying the show. I'm enjoying the show. Um, I love watching it. Yeah, I'm saying I'm locked in. Um, I'm locked in to see whatever it is they have planned because there's a lot of mystery um, for this show as to what's going on on this island or country. Who knows? I don't even think they. they yeah, I'm saying, not even sure if they're on an island or not. But more than likely, they're probably off coast somewhere. You know what I mean? Um, and more than likely they, they are being looked for, but, um, we don't really know. We don't really know. At least I don't really know for you guys that are watching the show, watching my reactions, you've seen my reactions. <laughs> okay. So this has been one of those shows that I look forward to, to do on the weekends. Um, of course, because that's the most time that I have to actually watch TV, <laughs> right? To watch any time, any time um sort of thing so i get to do as many episodes as i want on the weekends i plan it out and i do that thing yeah <laughs> but anyways this has been quite a journey so far with 14 episodes in the bag um so yeah man as we chug along here and get to the end can't wait to start put this on youtube because right now we're pretty much right now as i'm sitting here show is not on youtube yet so i can't wait to get this out on youtube um i think by i want to say by like the end of september we should be able because i want prison break to be over with first before i start putting because i want to switch up the schedule and i don't want to mess up what prison break is doing right now which is um three to four episodes per week um so i don't want to mess that up right now by adding another show to the channel so i want to wait that out it shouldn't be too long um right now i think um as i'm recording this video we're on like episode i believe it's 18 of the of season four for prison break so we should finish up that in one another week we should be done with prison break season four and then season five is a pretty short season so i think by the time i come back from my break in september i'm going on vacation for my birthday you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyways so um by the time i come back from that break we should be able to start lost which is probably like the second week in september somewhere around there so we'll see how things go and a couple of other shows is going to premiere around that time as well i'm talking for too long for this intro but you know what's coming okay and if you want to watch ahead you know what to do go check out the patreon membership on the original channel the links are down in the description man don't forget to like share and subscribe tell some people about the channel man because you know we do things a little bit different around here you know what i'm saying and i want all the smoke bring it <laughs> anyways let's jump into the reaction i will see you guys for the review doctor claire is she alive what? is she all right did she say anything not only man is she injured Nah, it seems like she's still pregnant. Yeah, her stomach's off. still Just give her some air. big over there. It's okay. Claire. It's okay. It's okay. Claire. Who are you? Who are you people? Oh, damn. We were all on that. They crashed here, on this island. That was almost a month ago. Uh, you know what I'm saying? At least a month. a month. Then why doesn't somebody come to get us? I think she escaped. 
You were right beside me, Boone. You know as much as I do. But where'd she come from? I mean, we were out pretty deep. Nothing's out there. Apparently, she doesn't even remember Ethan. The guy pretends to be one of us. He drags her to the jungle for almost two weeks. She doesn't remember him? Apparently. When he, Ethan, when he took you away, he took me too. Who is he, Ethan? Ethan. Ethan's the bad guy. <laughs> Why did he leave you? Why don't we leave that lovely story? For the morning. I've had enough for one day. I won't be sleeping. How's that feel, mate? Something fantastic. Good, because uh, we're almost out. But we're not out yet. Carpe diem, my friend. Look, save your French for someone who appreciates it. No. I suppose you ought to clean up then. It's time to put you to work. How you amass this information never ceases to amaze me, Tommy. Ready to fall in love, Mr. Charlie Pace of the legendary rock band Drive Show? Seriously, ladies, I demand you stop buying me more drinks. I'm a man of high moral standing. Your obvious plan to take me home and ravage me will not work. Saucy sirens. Ethan infiltrated us. Whoever he is and wherever he comes from, he's intelligent. Who's to say he didn't even send Claire? You're off your head, mate. Charlie, that... calm down. That's a stretch, Saeed. Then tell me, Doctor, how many times have you diagnosed actual amnesia? It's rare, but she's been through a major trauma. It is possible that her memory resets to the crash. And the chances of that memory returning? I don't know. You have got to be kidding me. This Charlie, man is out here with a I slingshot. What I, I want you to bring her back. What did you do? Wow. That <laughs> ended quickly. Damn! You bring her here. If you don't, I'm going to kill one of them. And then if you don't bring her back before sundown tomorrow, I'll kill another. And another. And Charlie, I'll kill you last. What do we do? We go out and we bloody kill him. Calm down, Charlie. We don't want the others to get upset. No, forget the others. He's out there right now, Lock. I think he's right. Man threatens to kill one of us unless we bring him Claire and what? We just wait for that to happen? Running into the jungle unarmed is not going to get the job done. It's what does get it done. We circle the wagons, tell a select few about the threat. We post them as sentries here and back at the caves. Tell a select few? He does what he says he's going to do, and that blood's on our hands. And we move everybody Which, off the beach back up into the caves. What if Ethan isn't alone? What if he delivered his threat so that we would gather like sheep to the slaughter in a confined space where they can roll in and take us all in one fell swoop? I mean, obviously you have a plan, so let's hear it. The others are avoiding me. Sorry? No one will talk to me. And I just... Feels like something's going on. You're quite enamored of yourself, aren't you? Now, Lucy, I know it's our first date and you need to appear demure, but you know, if you want to invite me back for sex, don't say tea. <laughs> say sex. As I Do said, this not? woman is not Love 22. Really? If she's 22, so where I, is the old man? I've lost all yeah. hope for youth. <laughs> That's why you're gonna try to rob this woman. It's Winston Churchill's. Dad collects all sorts of rubbish from the great leaders of the empire. Which part of that face is twenty-two? You, tomorrow. you should come around for dinner. I'd love to. Excellent. Why do you think he wants her back? To finish uh. the job. <laughs> I don't know. There are four nine millimeters in the Marshall's case. Uh -uh. No. I hand them out 
Someone hears something out in the jungle, gets scared. Chances of us shooting each other are much higher than of us shooting him. We're beyond sharpening knives here, Jack. I'm not putting guns on untrained hands. Maybe we should move her. She's safer here. What about the mountain? There could be another cave. She's safer here, Charlie. Nobody's safe! Hey. It's my fault you took her. I, I was responsible. I, I should have taken care of her. I Charlie. Yeah, you should have done a lot of things, but it's, okay. you know, you understand. If, and the thing about it is that what I have to say about Charlie in this situation, I can understand feeling emasculated by another, by another dude. You can't feel bad because it's not like a woman overpowered you or anything. That would be even worse. <laughs> but um, I understand how he feels. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if you, you know what I'm saying, you're in your house with your wife, your kids, whatever, somebody breaks into your house and, you know what I'm saying, you couldn't protect your wife and kids, you know what I mean? Like, you probably get knocked out, tied up, maybe even, you know what I'm saying, they, you know, do stuff to your wife or whatever the situation is. Like, it's not, you, I I can't see myself get o getting over that very easily. You know what I'm saying? Because it just the emasculation of the entire thing is just Yeah you know I'm saying it, it's crazy. It's cra it, it's crazy. So I understand how he feels about it. Um you do feel responsible as a man anytime a woman is around, whether you're with the woman or not, you just feel responsible. I don't know why. It's I guess it's just in our nature, our DNA to just protect. So it's like when you when you have when you when the chance actually appear for you to do that and you don't do it, or you just you know become a bitch in the situation, it's just it's just it's just, it's, it's just what we're built for. We were built to protect. I don't know if Lucy mentioned it to you, but I was in a band once myself. You know. Oh. Mm. They were called the Protestant Reformation. Yes, what the hell? Careful, huh? <laughs> you gave it up then? I was married. Lucy was on the way. My mom, God rest her soul. Again, keep trying. that woman is not 22. I was, uh, wanted to be more okay. practical. Responsible, I guess. So, are you uh, working on a new album, Charlie? We're in a bit of a hiatus right now. Liam, my brother. Just had a daughter. So, you know, I'm taking some time off. Thinking of doing a solo project. Liam and I don't exactly keep in touch and there's been some problems with royalties. The fact of the matter is, sir, uh, I think that drive shaft might be dead. Selling copiers. You took a job selling copiers? I like her. She's a moose. Don't say that. Are you off your bleeding chump, man? I've been getting you off on my skag for over a week now, on spec. Spec means if Anybody knows what that means? Oh, why would you call her... Case, is, why does she... Why does you just call her a moose? Like, I don't... I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I thought the UK culture is a, is a little bit different. I don't know. I, I'm... I'm thinking that's something very disrespectful, <laughs> but I don't know what it means. Is he calling her fat? What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what? What is it? Because I mean, mooses are not really fat. Is she saying? Is he saying she's ugly? Uh, what is it? You know what I'm saying? And by the time the poor helpless bird realizes it's missing, it never even occurs to her that rock star Charlie Bloody Pace could be responsible for such larceny, and the bloody party continues. I have to think about my future. Your future? Yeah. Really? Yes. When do you start <laughs> this job? Monday. Well, today's Friday, isn't it? For a weekend without a fix, Monday should be bloody wonderful. Let's see how the future treats you then, eh, Charlie? I think we found another missing castaway. <laughs> Simon. Oh, God. How oh. did he get past us? Came in from the water. 
water. From the water? You sure it wasn't an accident? I mean, maybe the guy just drowned or something. So Steve drew the short straw. Dude, that was Scott. <laughs> you mean nobody's told you? Told me what? Why did you lie to me? Okay, look. Yeah, you know, what else didn't you tell me? I, I just thought with your memory there wasn't anything that you could do. Nothing I could do. Why would you keep me in the dark, Charlie? Because it's I just like to take care of you. I can take care of myself. That that was stupid for you not to tell her what's going on because she's already, as she said, in the dark. Look at you. Oh, you intend is that why she called her a moose? Uh, shirts <laughs> with buttons. she's taller than him. You okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit nervous. Don't be. Dad's put the fix in. He's already demanded they buy two copiers to boost your confidence. Uh. Right, now I know you'll protest, but you simply can't be respected unless you have one of these. Oh. <laughs> Lucy. You're welcome. Well, if we don't bring Claire to him, rhetorical, Jack. Same thing happens tonight, happened last night. You think you can track him? Well, I'm sorry? We know where he attacked Jen and Charlie. Do you think you can pick up the trail? Maybe, but I wouldn't. Whoever he is, wherever he comes from, we're on Ethan's turf. He has the advantage. To him, we're nothing more than a bunch of scared idiots with sharp sticks. Oh, the guns. Boy, doctor, you've been holding out on us. I'm guessing you know how to handle one of these. Ready. I don't remember Ethan. I don't remember what he did to me. But if I can help stop him from hurting anyone else, I have to do that. I'm coming with you. You said there were four guns. Never fire a weapon, Charlie. Let's figure out a game. And somebody explain to me why is it that the accent for Australians are so similar to, to the UK. The it's speed C815 using no problem, it's probably something in here. <laughs> You're not doing a very good job of selling this product, sir. Yeah. So you Oh my god. About what? We have four guns. We should have four men. Or you could just use Kate. Help. Where'd you get the hardware, Hoss? I want to come. Sorry, we're out of guns. And no one goes out there unarmed. How much ammo you got? 100 rounds, give or take. All nines, right? Nine millimeters, guns. Yeah. Why? Because if the lady wants to come. Back in the old days. Remember him, don't you? Surly yeah, guy, they forgot kind of about that guy. Carry a Sig 9. Yeah, I remember you shot him. And missed. And missed. <laughs> yeah. really came out here what is it with this old school TV chase music he drops the gun that's that's great come on okay no Jack don't got him actually hold your fire don't shoot we want him alive. <laughs> Over here. Hey, hold your fire. Easy.
Come on. Right, nice one, Doc. Now maybe somebody can tell me who or what this son of a bitch is. Uh-uh-uh, jungle boy. Not even for one second. What? Who did that? Where the hell? Oh, the it's the gun that Jack dropped. Nigga, really? I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it's just like, bro, we could have gotten some good information, bro. Like, how the hell did you get on the island? Like, were you on the plane? Why did you do it, Charlie? Because he deserved to die. You think he would have told us anything, Jack? We, we, we're not going to know that now. <laughs> let that animal anywhere near her again. Lucy, I'm sorry. I've been having some problems. Uh, if I could just explain. Leave, Charlie. Lucy, made a mistake. You made a mistake. Oh, you meant to, Charlie. You meant to from the start. You're a liar. I believed you and you lied. I thought you wanted to... You said... You selfish bastard! Lucy, if I can just explain... Just tell me one thing, and don't you dare lie to me. But I don't understand why you took the job. Why did you take the job, Charlie? Because he wanted to change. But he, he... I wanted to be respectable. I wanted you to think that I could take care of you. I think the reason why he, um, not take the job, but I think the reason you why he called her was because they one. think she's ugly. <laughs> but average looking um, lady, she's not 22. That's for damn sure. I remember peanut butter. Why do I remember peanut butter? It was imaginary peanut butter, actually. I want to trust you. Episode 15, Season 1 of Lost. Um, excellent episode. Ethan is dead. Because Charlie decided, ah, well, I don't want him anywhere near clear. So, as I said, I understand why he did what he did. But at the same time, you know, sometimes you got to hold back that anger. You know, so that you can get information. You're in, you you got to think. Uh, in, in those situations, a lot of time you got to put away your selfish, um, you know, your, your selfish behavior, right? Put, put away that, that selfish, um, situation for yourself and just think about the bigger picture here because we could have gotten information. We don't know. Maybe he doesn't know anything. Maybe he would have dragged it along. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? It, it's. It, it, it is a it is a very rare situation that they're in so information or not is not going to come easy and we finally had a chance to really really get something done here and we got nothing out of it basically just okay um the person that kidnapped claire and charlie is dead now this guy was not a part of the original group because nobody never saw him before. So he definitely came from somewhere else. Now, there's an argument to say that maybe he was by himself, but we won't know that now. We're not even going to have a clue because now he's dead. Because he put a whole clip in his, <laughs> his chest. And, you know, as I said, you got sometimes you got to put away, you know, uh, you, you just got to bite 
got to bite down and say, you know what? You know, there's something bigger in play here and we need to get that information. I get it. The chance of maybe him escaping or, you know, um, and all this other stuff, leaving him alive. You still have that situation, but you know, they could build a makeshift prison with wood. You know what I'm saying? Back, back in the day, I'm pretty sure prisons weren't made of concrete and stuff like that. And, and, and iron bars, you know, they could make something very, you know, strong out of wood. You know what I mean? If you know what you're doing, I mean, I'm pretty sure me myself here could figure that out. If I was ever stranded on an Island in their situation that needed to lock somebody up, you know, for whatever reason, you know, it's, you know, could figure it out. You know what I'm saying? As I said, um, when it comes on to certain things, you know, you know, men and women are built to survive, but the problem is, well, not the problem, not necessarily the problem. The thing is that women can't necessarily, they can survive on their own, but it just takes them a long time to establish stuff because they don't really have the, the strength to do it. I don't know I'm talking about mental strength, I'm talking about physical strength. So when you're talking about surviving out into the wild, and stuff like that if we should ever go back to primitive times like if we were supposed to go to um say for instance we live in an, a, a post-apocalyptic um world right men would strive better than women would that's just a fact it, no matter if you want to believe it or not i really don't care about that i'm just telling you what facts are there's a reason why things the way how things used to be um way back in the day was different from how it is now women used to completely depend on men now not so much because women out earned you know what i'm saying and we live in a society we live in a society today where women can strive as well and there's nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying just understand that there's a lot of sacrifice you know um that women have to make you know what i'm saying to achieve that and that's why you have so many things but that's that's another subject for a different day right so the situation is this with the, with the series right now um it's not now we're back to kind of like square one because you killed the one outside entity that we have so i don't know what's gonna go down so i'm looking forward to see how how they're gonna progress now in the story because it's like the one outside situation that was going on that could have gave us information is now is now died so where do we go from here you know what i'm saying like are you gonna wait until claire's memory come back of you know maybe she remembered where she was when she got captured what's going to be next you know what i'm saying with you know us now at episode 15 and with like 10 episodes to go you know where are we going to end up at the end of this season so i'm looking forward to that but in any case guys yeah we had a little bit of a cup there during the recording i lost power for a quick second but you know my pc didn't shut off or anything like that i have a little bit of power back up here um that you know my pc is plugged into so it doesn't lose power immediately if it's like a quick power outage um and that happens like at least once a week in my neighborhood for some reason it's like the power surge there's a power surge that happens um and it's it's just like very quick and it will shut off pretty much everything else except like my my screens and stuff like that will lose will lose power for for a quick second and my internet will go out but i don't use internet when i'm recording so it's fine you know what i'm saying so this has been great man this has been great i'm looking forward to watching another episode here so like subscribe comment you know what to do if you want to see more episodes you want to watch lost early by the time you're seeing this episode we should be in season two no doubt about it so go check it out see you guys next time peace